Hello and welcome to this Studio Brutal video. You're gonna need headphones for this one because it is focusing on techno kicks and rumbles. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna talk you through how to make this, the sound you can hear in the background. You don't need to make it yourself. There's a free rack in the description below. So yeah, go and get that. And yeah, please, while you're there, it's totally free, but please, while you're there, leave us a comment or something like that, or say um, anything you want, basically. Uh, it really helps us out. It helps the video get more views, basically. Um, so yeah, go and get that. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So yeah, basically, I've set all the macros up at the start. So you can tweak everything up the front. But essentially, this is a, if I switch, there's three raw units in this. If I switch them off, it is essentially a kick, made in operator, pitch envelope, two sine waves, uh, plus an FM, third sine wave. And the time just makes everything longer, every envelope longer on operator, basically. So you can control the kick there. And that, so that's basically the kick, real simple kick. Um, made out of three sine waves, one of them's FM. And then it's then there's three raw units added, basically. Uh, I'll go through the macros in a minute, but I'll just show you what the raw units do. The first one distorts the kick, basically. Uh, the drive is the big thing that will affect it, um, which is there on the macros as well. So I'll just reset that. Um, Back to where it was. So yeah, so um, so that's the first one. The first raw unit adds a lot of character, distorts it, distorts the kick, makes it a bit more industrial. Um, then the second one will add the rumble, which is the pulsating sub bass. Um, you can hear that coming in. You won't if you don't have good headphones or speakers. Uh, so yeah, what that is doing is basically. I've, I've used the setting on RAW where you can split the frequencies, so it's not just one unit. If I pop it up, which is really good on RAW, you can pop it up. Uh, like you can with Wavetable. These two ones, high and mid, are just off. And then it's filtered down here. So it's like it's just like what you would do if you added a distortion and the low pass filter to, uh, to make a rumble. Um, and yeah, that's it. That is it. It's just distorting the uh, the um, the kick there, and it's letting through where's the wet dry. It's letting through obviously the kick and the rumble. You can mix that there. I've set that to the to the uh, to the macros as well. So yeah, so now you've got a distorted kick and a really nice pulsating bass line. It's done through the feedback here on the uh, rumble. Uh, so obviously there's less controls on the delay than you would get if you used a delay unit. But I wanted just to, to do it to show off raw. Um, so yeah, bear that in mind. There's not as, as much control over the time and stuff. But um, if you want to, you can switch this off and add a, uh, a delay in between it to get more reverb, to get more control. Um, then after that, <coughs> I mean, there's, a, there's a third raw that distorts both of them together. So that you see so you're treating the rumble and the kick together which will sort of squash them together a bit and uh, make them sound sort of as one. Which is that. Uh, and then on this one, on this last one, um, I've just got one stage, so it's just one uh, one unit on, uh, on all frequencies. Um, and then that you've got the drive here, uh, which can get nasty. And yeah, so, so basically this is sort of making it distorted at the end. But what I've done here is I've made the drive and the shape of one level, which is uh, this one here. <coughs> so, this, so there's two distortions here, controls, and they're both pumping with this envelope follower. It says M, it's not a, a normal envelope, an amp envelope like you get a wavetable or whatever. It is, it's, it's, it's reading the signal that's coming in and it's generating the signal off, off them. So if I turn this up, it's gonna pump more, it's gonna make the distortion pump as the kick comes into it, which is which is really nice for sort of kicks and rumbles. Um, and then this global amount, which is how much globe these two are, which basically increases how much they're sent to the envelope, is mapped to the macros, so you can basically make it pump more. I think it's labeled as pump. Yeah. If you turn the mix up, you can really hear that uh, like industrial sort of grating pump. Um, which is coming from that modulation, not not just from the rumble. So you've got a pump in sub bass and a pump in um, distortion on the kick. So it's like a really rhythmic pump. And yeah, that's it. Bit of output distortion. <coughs> Actually, I've turned that down. You can turn that up. That 
can get really nasty quickly. And uh, so yeah, that is it. Three rules. One, the last one is to compress it. Is to compress and distort everything. Uh, middle one is to make the rumble, and the first one is to just distort the character of the kick. Um, I'll talk you through the macros now, but just real quick. Yeah. So this this is the first raw unit. There's no distortion, no saturation in this in the mids. Uh, and there's a little bit on the highs, and they they pick out a little. I've set the high pass filter here, so the high end is going to um, just be a click. If I put it down, you can hear it come in. So that's basically just set up so it's a click on the kick. And the middle one, I've added a bit of modulation so it really pumps, but it is down, so you can't hear it as normal. And I've added it to the macros so you can turn it up and add like a mid range body to the kick, and it'll bring this whole thing, this whole pumping thing in. <coughs> Uh, so yeah, I'll show you the macros now. So yeah, uh, time is the length of the kick in operator. Early drive is the first drive in that first raw unit. And then this is the mid frequency I was talking about, this one here. If I turn it up, it makes for like a really industrial sort of, it adds a lot of distortion basically, pumping distortion. Um, a little bit is pretty good to be honest. Then the high end click is this one. So you can just add like a clicky transient to the top of the kick. I don't know if you can hear that. <coughs> I mean, it's quite subtle, but you can pull this frequency down to get it. So it's almost like a snare drum on top of the kick. And then the rumble body <coughs> is, uh, is the, uh, let me switch the other level for a second, the rumble one on. This one here. The rumble body is this amount. Is how much the rumble is distorted. Um, rumble feedback is obviously that that'll make it get a, like massively massive sort of bass swells. You've got to be careful with that. Uh, but it's so you can add. It's so you can make it. If you haven't got good headphones on, you won't hear that. But it's basically feedback. It's making the delay. It's a delay feedback on the rumble. And this is a rumble mix, which will be all rumble. Just kick, and you want to mix it in the middle, wherever sounds good. And then these last three are the final raw, the label raw three, which will just make it sound really industrial. And then there's the pump, which will obviously have more of an effect if you turn the other two up. And then that's the mix of it. So yeah, that is it. That's uh, there's ten macros there. Um, so yeah, that's it. It's just a simple sine wave with a pitch envelope on it, uh, and it's distorted with multiband distortion to give the kick a lot of character. Then rumble with the delay and feedback. I'm using the feedback to delay on the second one and filtering it down so it's just uh, in the, to add the sub bass and the third one uh, glues them all together and adds a bit of uh, extra modulation to make it pump. Um, so yeah, that's it. I literally just got Ableton 12, and so I'm using it loads. I think the raw thing is awesome. Uh, and I'll probably be doing a lot more videos on it. Um, but yeah, so yeah, that's a free rumble rack. Please get that. Yeah, just go and get that. It's totally free in the description below. And yeah, when you're there, please leave us a comment. It really does help. Um, let me know any feedback or anything like that. I'm always happy to hear it or any other packs or racks you want me to make. Um, and yeah, uh, that's it from me. Uh, have a good day and uh, good luck with your music making. Take care. Goodbye.